G'day viewers, how are you? Michael here. Today I've got a real u beaut way of saving a buck. I'm going to talk to you about how to build a latch for your rabbit tree, or for your rabbit cages, quail cages, any type of cage, ferret cages, any type of wire cage. And you could probably adapt it to a wood one too, but I'm more worried about the wire cages. So, let's get into it. So all you'll be needing is a pipe, inch and three quarter, two inches, about 30 centimeters or a foot of wire, maybe three mil, two and a half mil, which is about eighth of an inch, a bit smaller. It's normal uh, fencing wire. Tape measure, cut the fencing wire. Obviously you need something to cut it. And a pair of pliers for the bending. Depending which way you wrap around this thing, to the left of this or to the right of it, will make a difference to whether it's a right hand hinge or a left hand hinge. And uh, for the sake of it, I leave about two inches there. I bend it round like this. And I bring it round till it's touching, till it goes past it. It's only uh, to get it a, a start. I bend it round like this. Sometimes you put a little bit of a kink in it, but it doesn't matter. Then what you end up with is something like this. If you see here, it's got a gap between the two. You've made it like, see how you're going like this? I can put a bit of a gap there. Now, that's my template. I made one up beforehand to give me an idea of what's going on. I'll bring it down a bit lower so you can see what's going on better. So, I've done it the loop like this. I've got a bit of a gap there. Now, what I do is this. See, you got that like that. Now, I just do the simplest way. I can do lots of ways you can do it, but if I just grab it like that, about 7 sixteenths of an inch, the end, give it, or about 11 mil, give it a bit of a twist around. Can you see the loop? I'll put it down there, I might be able to see it better on the, on the thing. I've got, got a hook on the end. I go along about a thumb width, put it on there, bend it down to suit. I grab it then and give it a twist to the direction of the way I want it facing. Now, then I'll come down about another thumb, about five, five eighths of an inch, give it a twist up. I put it down on the deck like this. If I got this sitting on the deck, that sitting on the deck, and that sitting on the deck, it's pretty well what I want. And I want to leave a little gap underneath still. Maybe anywhere from a quarter of an inch to uh, three eighths of an inch, which is uh, about five mil to about 10 mil. Oh, not 10 mil, about seven mil. So that's about it now. That rest for can be tinkered with when, on the, on the, when you're fitting it on to the, uh, the door. So I hope that helps you. I usually like to look a bit, make them look a bit decorative too. So I try to straighten it up here and there, make it sure it's sitting right, that that's sitting nice and square. And that, there you go. That, that's looking pretty good now. Uh, a bit of a twist here and there. Doesn't really matter. Beautiful. Done deal. Now we'll go assemble it. These latches aren't expensive. They're only, you know, a dollar or so in the States. But the problem in Australia, you can't get them. Uh, the only way you can get them is by importing them from the States. And for some reason, they want to hit you with about, uh, about 30 bucks to get them here, <laughs> which is ridiculous. And it takes time, maybe three, four weeks. So it's a lot simpler just to build them. So in the States, well, just buy them. Anywhere else in the world, hey, I'd make them. But even still, why not just make them? It's just a bit of fencing wire, a few seconds of your time. I can whack one out in about two. 
20 seconds. When I first started, it took me about five minutes for the first one because <laughs> I wanted to get it right. In the end, I just bending it with my thumb, bending it here, there, bending it there, and it was done. So that's what I'm going to do now, just show you how to put it together. Hope you like it. <laughs> okay, viewers, what I'm going to do is use one of these clips, a pair of C pliers and a C clip. And I'm going to fix this cage. So I'll bring you around a bit. You get back in there, little sticky beak. I'll bring it a bit closer. I don't want to do too much about there. Now, you've got to try and clip it to a bunch of things. So what we do here, we go through here like this on an angle, through that clip. Just got to get it right. There you go. Squeeze it round. Stop being a little sticky beak. You beautiful rabbit. See, they're pretty. That's got to be the male. He's very inquisitive. Wants to know what's going on. I like to do a triangle when you get four corners. That way it sits more firmer. And you just keep on pulling it in till it's tight. You wanna know what's going on, do you? I don't blame you. All the gossip. That's two so far. You just choose three or four, depending on which corners it catches. I think I put four on this one. I just dropped it off. So, now it's latched up in place. You do a little fine adjustment. And all I do is go like that. And she's locked. Done. You want to unrelease it? Same thing. I'm going to do a slight bit of adjustment because it's not perfect. Uh, it never is. And just do a little bit of tuning. Like, bring that up a little bit. But she's not going anywhere. And all I do is go like that, and she's latched. So, if you like what you're seeing, give it the big thumbs up. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell. Because remember, without you, there's no me, and I like being here. So, catch ya. <laughs>